Elizabeth Norse was born in nearby Cincinnati, Ohio, in 1860. At the age of 13, she showed remarkable talent for painting, and her parents sent her to the Cincinnati Art School. Later, the family fortune was lost, and in a financial panic, determined, she earned money to continue her studies in Paris by designing and decorating the interiors of homes in Cincinnati. At the age of 18, she entered the Académie Julien. Her drawing was so good that Boulanger advised her to take a studio and work alone, that her style might develop uninfluenced by academic training. She followed his advice, and the same year her painting, A Mother and Child, was accepted in the salon and hung on the line, an unprecedented honor for a newcomer. Today she is one of the strongest American painters in Paris. When Pouvy de Chavannes, Dagnon Bouveret, and others formed the Société Nationale des Beaux-Arts, Miss Norse sent her pictures to the new salon. They were received with acclamation, and three years later she was made an associate. Pouvy de Chavannes was the first to congratulate her, and when she was made a Société in 1901, Dagnon Bouveret, Cazin, Besnard, Rodin, and others showered upon her congratulations. Though continuing to live and work mainly in Paris, Norse travelled extensively around Europe, Russia and North Africa, painting the people she met. A sincere student of nature, of the real, the actual, Elizabeth Norse paints only what she sees, but hers is the vision of a noble soul which pierces through the conventionalities to the poetry and beauty that underlie all life. Her pictures are not portraits of models, but types of human character, of the woman who toils for the little one at her breast of the man who earns his bread in the sweat of his brow. She shows us not only the struggles of those who labour, but their participation in the great joys of life. Motherhood, the pleasure of a man resting from toil in the haven of his humble home, the happiness of children in their play, the deep consolation which religion brings to those who suffer, such are the themes which appeal to her most strongly. As described by Miss Anna Seton Smith, The International Studio Magazine. 1910. The attitude of the French public towards her painting has perhaps been best expressed in a recent tribute by A. Dubuisson, the art critic and writer, containing this summary. I find in the pictures of Miss Norse all the precious qualities of charm, of grace, and of truth, which are her heritage among living artists. Norse was embraced as an artist, and became just the second woman selected as a member of the Société Nationale des Beaux-Arts, the new salon. And finally, like every memorable artist, Norse was able to express in her work an original personal vision that is immediately evident to the viewer, who may know nothing about her life. Her biography explains, however, why she brought such deep conviction to her portrayal of working people, particularly to women, to the importance of motherhood, and to the beauty found in the simplest aspects of daily life and of nature. Elizabeth Norse is described by her contemporaries as the first woman painter of America and the dean of American woman painters in France. I am rejoiced to know that you have obtained the recognition which your talent so richly deserves. Puvis de Chavannes. 